Wolves 3, Manchester United 4 and Kobe Mainu ni ule mse. Kobe Mainu wamesema maze, maze leo. I'm winning this game for us. This boy, I think United fans, when you're on the channel from a long time ago, I feel like since that game in the US when uh, United beat Arsenal twice, <laughs> um, I could see, like, and I guess everyone could see. So that's not, see, that's not, and then I discovered him, but you could see something special with this kid. Like, you can just see the way he was progressing the ball from defense. Nikitu Yenye, Akuna Msekoyo midfield, Akuna, like, like, Fanya. Probably the only person who can do it is Bruno, but Bruno has to play Ukombele, Unacheki. So, he was so impressive, to be honest. Like, he's, he's such a, he's such a, he really, he, you can tell he just loves playing football, and he's not, he doesn't fear anything. 18 years old. This weekend, kuna atoya wilo menibamba sana. Um, Maino na Bradley wa Liverpool. Like, just, these kids, maze, at 18 years old, <coughs> It's not that he, the kid is 18. He's 18, yes, in terms of the real world. But at 18, the amount of football like awareness, just the tactical ability is just insane. So, yeah, those two have really impressed me. Kobe Maino, midfield. Alishkilia Vizuri. Um, positives for United. Um, Rashford getting that goal quick and early. Maze, it just makes everything. You know, like you don't have to talk about him. Sana. Like he... he he just he gave he gave people a reason to remember who he is, you know. So I think United played very well in the first half. Some Okwele Wolves didn't even get a sniff. Ukicheki zile games and anyone who's going to play at Wolves, kila mtu amepata stress kwa hiyo pitch. Hakuna msaja hapata stress. So for United to really dominate Wolves like that in the first half, um it's not something you see a lot. Um I think Rashford and Hoylun wanna 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 develop kwa partnership flani tu hapo hivyo. Yenye it needs to develop. It needs to develop. You can you can see that Hoylun is going to be one for the future, even though we don't know what Rashford's future looks like. Um, Hoylun is that guy. Hoylun is actually just he is he is he fights for everything. He reminds me of uh, Mabululu of Angola or Shalulile of Namibia. Someone who just fights for everything. Like you will see him in every 50-50. You will see him in every like. Hey, that guy. That guy really he really works hard for his team. Um, someone else that impressed me today. From a United perspective, um, first of all, Onana wasn't really tested. Nika, you could just see these guys play with a different energy and passion when he's back at United. Like, he, as in, I don't understand. I'm a bambika. Like, his face is just happy. Like, he's just, he's on a different level. Um, yeah, but then, yeah, second half came in. That penalty, quite soft. Quite, quite soft. S-A-W-F-T, soft. Too soft, too soft of a penalty. But I get why it was given. I get why it was given. Also, it made the game a bit more fun. Huh? Um, then, obviously, McTominay came off the bench, scored within a minute of coming off the bench. Unajua, I was on Twitter, and I was actually saying that United fans talk more nonsense <laughs> about their team than actual rivals. Such that, leo ni mengia Twitter, and I was like, hey, I should say something. I was like, you know what? The first three posts I see, I see Naeem, I see Sheng, all the people who support United, they are just talking about they're just talking badly about United. Kina do you a group your box to box or say by the group your box to box? Yeah, feel free to join. <laughs> um on WhatsApp. Uh do these guys even believe in their team? Like, do they actually believe in their team? Obviously, when the team wins, they'll celebrate the win. But do these guys actually believe in their team? So yeah, that's just something I've seen the United fans. I am seeing people rip things from walls, like they just are done with United. Um yeah, so obviously McTominay came on, made it 3-1. Now, then, uh, the goal that made it 3-2, it happens. The one that made it 3-3 is the one that I have issues with from a United perspective. You have brought on Maguire. You have brought on Johnny Evans. You have brought on uh, Nantana Lingia to show up the defense. Um, and you have brought on McTominay for Casemiro. I don't understand why all of them are up Ukombele trying to score a, score a fourth goal and you're 3-2 up. Like, what is the point? Why did you guys go into the field? Like, <laughs> what is the point? You need to close out the game. You know very well. This is something even Bruno said before the game. We know Wolves are a great counter-attacking team. I think it was Bruno. Even Ten Hag. They, they, everyone said we know they're a great counter-attacking team. Predo Neto is back. Yeah? Um... All these guys, Akina, Akina, Sarabi has just been brought on. Aitnuri has just come back from Afcon. 
they they have pace. Why are you sending all your center backs forward? But they were saved. They were saved by Kobe Minum. I, I just feel like this one, if they drew 3-3, three, three, this one would have been totally on 10. I'd have to say 10 hack because if you tell them don't go forward, they won't go forward. So it's up to you to coach and tell them, guys, I know you're trying to pressure them and not make them attack you, but one of the strongest, when, when Wolves had the ball and you guys were defending, they were not really doing anything. They were scoring either from set pieces or counters. Like that is when they were most threatening. So the fact that you can put them in that situation by taking everyone forward. I, I even looked at when he was scoring the goal, it was Luke Shaw and I can't remember who else was there. But none of the people who have been brought on to show up the defense were actually there. So that would be the only thing that I picked from this game. But um, yeah, man, Kobe Mainu, that this boy is this boy is dangerous. In fact, the only reason I'm making this video is because I, I just love the way he plays. At the end of the day, I'm just a football fan and I just I appreciate. I can appreciate. He kind of reminds me of, okay, not to that extent, but Cesc Fabregas. When Fabregas just broke onto the scene, like the fearlessness that you you just enter. Like Cesc was, I think, 16 or 17 and he wants to play with Vieira. He benched Vieira after a few months, you know, and Vieira decided to go to UV. It was just that bravery, just wanting to drive the ball forward. And then the nutmeg and the composure to finish in the corner. The only thing that he really reminded me of is that celebration reminded me of Jeremy in Jitap <laughs> when he started doing this. Um, yeah, man. Minus Mino, Mino is, is, Mino is the real deal. This this video is just dedicated to Mino, no one else. Um, yeah, so United win the game, obviously. Um, I will ask my good friend Eric Giroud to just write in the comment section uh, what position United are right now. And yeah, United win. 4-3 against Wolves at the Molly.